the South Australia Police have been conducting Operation Distraction. This operation is focused on drivers using handheld mobiles whilst driving. Over the nine day period, we detected 728 drivers using their mobile phone whilst driving. Totally unacceptable. This averaged out to 81 per day. This is the second time we've run this operation statewide. The first time was in July, with only 67 uh, people be, being detected every year. With only 67 being detected every day. You're concerned it's gone up? I mean, clearly the message isn't going, getting through. Well, the message is, clearly isn't getting through, but I think police officers have had enough. We've seen too much carnage on our roads in recent times, and we want to do all that we can to try and help reduce that trauma. I mean, people know what the road rules are, and people know that they're not allowed to use their phones whilst driving. Quite often people are trying to hide them, or they give us the excuse that they weren't using the mobile phone as a telephone. However, what they need to understand is any use of the mobile phone, using your GPS, using any app whilst driving is illegal. So if it's not people just you know, speaking on the phone, what else are they sort of being caught out doing? Is it you know, social media playing a big role in it? Well, quite often by the time that we've pulled them over they've gone and turned their phone off or they've uh, tried to hide it from us but we've seen them using it. Uh, at times it's obvious that they're using it as a telephone, other times they are using it as a GPS or uh, for social media apps. The last person I pulled over, uh, he thought it was fine because he was using it as a GPS. However, that wasn't fine. How do you stop it? I suppose the way we stop it is we continue uh, running operations like we are and we, have, and we try to educate the public, like the Motor Accident Commission are, with this store here at the Royal Show. I've got the feel. Sorry, how regularly will you be running Operation Distraction if you run it in July and then again in September, August? Uh, we'll be running it uh, again in the next couple of months. Uh, however, uh, distraction, mobile phones, uh, any sort of distraction is only one of the fatal five. Uh, so we'll also be targeting uh, some of the other elements of the, the fatal five over the next uh, couple of weeks. Superintendent, I think we both know that you know we could be standing here in a year and you will have run this up and you'll be telling us there's 81, 97, 58, it won't matter, there'll, there'll be people that'll be getting caught. So uh, is the message actually getting through? Well, well, hopefully it is. You know, hopefully by giving someone an expiation, you know, one day we might be actually saving their life. So hopefully next time they get in the car, they'll do what they should be doing. They'll put the telephone in the boot, they'll turn it off, or maybe they won't even take it with them. So we're trying to change behaviour. The police being less lenient this time round um, during operations destruction, like giving out less warnings and more fines? Oh, well, this time we've asked uh, for a real focus on enforcement. Uh, we, you know, we educate, we talk, uh, and we've talked until we're blue in the face. So this time it was time to have a, a strong enforcement approach uh, to operation destruction. And that's what we've seen. Do you know how many of those on, the, on this action destruction that last? No, every time we have the same amount of police, but we're asking the police that when they're on the roads to focus on that element of the Fatal Five. Do you know how many fines were issued and how many people did receive warnings this time around, about 700? Probably uh, over 70% uh, were actual fines uh, and the rest were cautions. And that's a bit different to what we saw last time, with probably around 60% being uh, expiations and 40% and cautions. Is that the way to do it going forward, more fines, less warnings? I mean, there's so many different things that we can do. I mean, enforcement uh, is, is a method of reducing, uh, I suppose, getting that message through, but so is education, so is talking to people. So there are times that it is appropriate to call someone and talk to them, uh, but that's not, it's the discretion of the officer as to whether they give a person a fine or the caution. And I suppose uh, the figures for this operation uh, reflect how you know, we've had enough and we want to do what we can to stop the, uh, the trauma on our roads. There has been a number of fatal crashes on our roads recently. How many do you know, say, in recent re weeks have been because of distraction? Uh, well, we've had so, some of the fatals, one of the contributing factors was failing to give way. Uh, so, and it's too early in the investigations to know the exact reason. Uh, however, one of the causes of failing to give way can be distraction. Uh, and a lot of our files that we're actually putting together at the moment haven't been before the coroner yet. However, if you look at what happened last year and over the previous years, you know, around 30% of the 
uh, of raw fatalities, not uh, using a mobile phone was a contributing factor. There's definitely no strike system here, is there? The police want to give you a fine, they, they can. It is up to uh, total discretion of the police officer uh, that, is, that, that has pulled the driver over and is speaking to him. Thank you. Okay, thank you.